CH1 presents Behind the Corn, the J.C. Kane story. Brought to you by Preparation H. Preparation H, the hemorrhoidal suppository of choice for native Iowans everywhere. I was born and raised down in Alabama on a farm way back up in the woods. Actually, it was a little Catholic hospital nestled among the cornfields of Iowa. That's where John Christopher Kane was born, November 6, 1954. His siblings nicknamed him J.C., which scandalized the nuns at St. Anne's Hospital. So parents George and Florence bundled up little J.C. and brought him home to the farm. Those first few winters were hard. J.C. had to live in a snowbank out by the barn. But the experience helped J.C. toughen up for Iowa farm life. George Kane believed in putting children to work at an early age, so J.C. climbed behind the wheel of the old John Deere while he was still in diapers. Since he didn't have to stop for bathroom breaks, J.C. was an efficient worker. J.C. was 14 years younger than the next youngest child, so occasionally his family misplaced him. J.C. would find himself abandoned in the middle of a cornfield or atop the hay rack, wondering, where'd everybody go? However, someone usually remembered to come back and pick him up, usually. J.C. has an older brother and two older sisters. He idolizes his older brother, Pat, although he's sometimes worried that an airplane might try to land on Pat's hair. J.C.'s parents and siblings doted on him. However, when they were bored, they dressed J.C. in funny clothes and laughed at him. For years, J.C. burst into tears whenever he saw a plaid bathrobe. As the years went by, J.C. joined in a variety of childhood activities. As a member of the Plum Creek 4-H Club, he raised cattle. He prayed every night they would be stricken with mad cow disease, but they grew fat and healthy. The day J.C. sent them off to the meat packer was the happiest day of his life. In high school, sports were a big part of J.C.'s life. He played football for the Algona Bulldogs. In hindsight, his football career might have been more successful if he'd remembered to put on his helmet. J.C. also played basketball. It's not widely known, but J.C. taught Kareem Abdul-Jabbar how to shoot the skyhook. J.C. had excellent jumping ability as long as the player he was jumping against was at least six inches shorter than him. In fact, J.C. was known for the incredible height of his jumps in post-game victory celebrations. J.C. also enjoyed watching his teammates battle for rebounds. J.C.'s coach was annoyed that J.C. did his watching while he was playing, but that was where he had the best view. After graduation from Algona High, J.C. went off to college at Iowa State University in Ames. Oddly, there were no barber shops in Ames, but J.C. learned to live without them. After Iowa State, J.C. launched a career as a TV news reporter. That career took him to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Wichita, Kansas, and Phoenix, Arizona. J.C. specialized in interviewing older women with beehive hairdos. In 1981, J.C. married a fellow reporter named Barb Brown. It was a beautiful wedding, but the best part was having their names on the marquee at the Sioux Falls Holiday Inn. Barb has somehow put up with J.C. for 26 years. They have two terrific children, Matt and Jesse, who bring great joy to their lives. J.C. hasn't been the perfect father. He tried to teach Matt to shave 15 years too early, but he's done the best he could. After working as a reporter, J.C. became a teacher and is currently an educational technology specialist. One of the things he likes about technology is he can make himself look 20 years younger with just a few mouse clicks. And he doesn't have to worry about being left in a cornfield wondering, where'd everybody go?